Hey, what's up, guys? So this is tutorial number six, and in this tutorial we will be adding 3D object. Finally, right? So we will be implementing and adding this 3D objects from Sketchfab, and Sketchfab is basically a light place where like a bunch of creators uh, host their 3D objects for free. And the good thing about Spark AR, they do implement, they have the implementation tool that will let you directly uh, implement those 3D objects and without going to any other places. You can do it directly from the platform. So as you can see, this is back to our project and back to our person. So let's go ahead and add the 3D object which we will be using in the future. So click Add Asset and then go ahead and import uh, from AR library. So that's what's going to show up. And it should show up for you guys too, a bunch of cool 3D objects. And as you can see underneath, it says Sketchfab. It's being implemented from Sketchfab, as I mentioned. But if it doesn't show up for you guys, you need to go and create an account for free. Once you create an account and log in, you will be able to use those 3D objects forever. And let's type. So I will be looking for sunglasses. Sunglasses. Let's search it up. OK, I see a lot of sunglasses being showing up and I will go ahead and implement these classes. They look cool because it's like a form of matrix movie. I will go and it goes ahead and downloads the 3D objects. Let's click done. Look, it's so fast. As you can see this showed up on left corner and yeah now we have this on our platform but we didn't implement it yet. Let's go ahead and right click on or right click on for so distance and add the face tracker. Here we go, back to our face tracker. We name it move zero. Let's go ahead and also add the mesh like we did in previous uh, tutorial. Face mesh, remove it. Go ahead and add the material to the face mesh and then create new material. As you can see, this black glass metallic are showing up. They are being implemented from uh, the asset that we implemented, but they're being used by by our 3D objects, but we need to create new uh, mat. So let's go and create one. Rename it to mat uh, face. And so we have this face showing up. It doesn't really matter what type of shutter type it has right now, because eventually we will just decrease the opacity but for now we need it. So let's drag the 3D object directly to uh, our stuff. And the sizing is pretty big, but it's showing up so far. Right, as you can see. So in order to change the size, you can do it in two spots. You can do like on the right corner, as you can see the positioning but I prefer to do it the easy way and do it from here uh, on this button, on the three, three, three buttons. And then you go ahead and then you can, you can change everything at the same time just by clicking and dragging the box itself. Let's just stop that for a second. And here we go. Drag it. Let's make it seem like it's matching. I will drag it a little bit above so it covers my eyes. And this should be fine. Let's go ahead and play and see how it's showing up. Okay, looks like it's working. But let's try to now let's go back to the face mesh, which is dragging the mat. So you need to click the mat and then dec decrease the opacity to zero. Now you, you can see it's looking pretty good, but I still want to change 
so my back of the sunglasses will show up a little bit. So in order to do that, click the 3D object, maybe change over right here. See, okay, maybe it's better a little bit. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, that's basically it, but you can go ahead and then try to manipulate the weight, the object, so it will show up that the back side of it, maybe right now it should show up. The reason we have the mesh, because if we didn't have the mesh, let's say, let's stop it, and then let's, let's make it invisible right now. You see the back, so you can see the back if you don't have the... Uh, mesh and it's kind of disturbing because it's going through our direct through our face and let's just make it visible back to visible and now you can see it looks like a real sunglasses yeah that's basically it guys